Influenza is a microscopic little package almost. It looks kind of like a ball. The virus has two major surface proteins that stick out like spikes. They look, in a sense, like little lollipops. And these are sort of the business end of the virus. One protein is called hemagglutinin. It allows the virus to get into the cells it wants to infect. And the other protein, called neuraminidase, has the opposite effect. It allows the virus to escape as newly made viruses are being released from cells. There are different subtypes of influenza, and they're named by the two surface proteins, hemagglutinin and neuraminidase. We tend to shorten that to just H and N. Each of those proteins has its own variant, one, two, three, four, and so on. So you can have an H1N1 flu virus, or an H2N2. So influenza is not one virus, but really a whole group of viruses. And they come in a wide variety of flavors. There are thousands and thousands of different influenza strains. But what makes it particularly crazy is that influenza virus uh, has a lot of sex. If two different viruses infect one cell at the same time, you can create a new mixed and matched virus. And then it can mutate and recombine with other flus. So the possibilities are, are, are virtually endless.